Responses inside of HelpSpot allow you to automate tasks that you might perform repeatedly on multiple requests. For example, you might want to create a response that inserts a certain set of text directions to a customer, or you might want to create a response that performs some actions like changing custom fields, statuses, or categories. To manage your responses, click on the Responses button at the top of the workspace. Now that you're in the response management area, you can see all of your current responses listed at the top of the screen. And then you can also see a form where we can add a new response. Let's go ahead and click on this response and we'll look at some of the basic features. Okay, so here's my password reset response. And you can see right up at the top here, I have a title for my response. And then I'm inserting some response note text. In this case, right in this first line, I am using a placeholder. Now, all of the available placeholders are available in this menu. And what a placeholder is going to do is it's going to replace uh, this text surrounded by these pound signs with the value from the request. So in this case, I'm going to insert the customer's first name right here. Now, I can go ahead and edit this and add in another placeholder. So in this case, maybe I want to put the first name of the assigned staff member into the closing of this message. Now this response note area can be used for just simple strings of text. So something as simple as a URL can be put in here and it can be used inline while you're typing a custom message or it can be a full blown message uh, like the one here. Down below that, I have the option to put my responses into folders. And then I also have the option to share this response with different groups inside of HelpSpot. So I can share this response with other users and they can use the response. So you don't have to recreate the response for each user. I also have the option to attach files here. File attachments inside of responses can be very helpful. If you have documents that you routinely send to your customers, you might want to create a response for them instead. This way, each of your staff members does not need to have that individual file on their computer. They don't have to go through a file picker and find the file. Instead, the file is pre-attached in the response. They simply select the response and the file is attached for them. Then also, whenever you update that file, you just go into the response, update in one place, and whenever that response is used in the future, the new file version will be used. Finally, down here, we have the request actions. And the request actions allow us to perform other actions on the request. So in this example, I might want to change the status of this request when I send out this message. So I'm going to change this to waiting for reply. And then I'm going to set the category to be general support. I can also set custom fields. And I can change note options like the email subject, who the email is from, and even insert CCs and BCCs into the request itself. All right, so I can go ahead and save my edits. And now let's go ahead and use this response inside of a request. So we'll go ahead and open this request here. And now there's a couple of ways that I can utilize a response. First off, I can click on responses here and then pick the response from the menu. A faster way to access responses often is just to type a keyword from the title in the response search area and then hit enter. And now my text is inserted and all of my field changes are made for me. To commit all these changes and send out this email, I simply click on update request and all of those actions have been performed for me without me having to go through each individual step.